afternoon everyone, my name is Thomas Hark Ludwig and what we're going to have a look at today is having a Plant 3D model inside VR with a Vive headset um, running through Stingray. So what I've got here today is just the normal plant sample data set and I'm going to use the export FBX function inside of AutoCAD to export that out to an FBX file um, just locally on my desktop. So I've removed all of the, the civil uh, works and the grading and that sort of stuff. So all I've got left here is um, just the plant 3D model. And again, this is the sample set. Um, and then what we're going to do is jump quickly over to InfraWorks. And then um, within InfraWorks, we're going to import this file into a model that we've created with Model Builder. So just to save time, you see, you can see I've already done it. Uh, all we've done is gone into the data sources pane and added the FBX file onto um, a coverage or a land area inside InfraWorks. And there you can see our plant model inside InfraWorks, which is from memory just a couple square kilometers uh, of terrain data. So you can see we've got some of the grade and the, the lakes and water areas. Now we're just going to export this FBX file out. Uh, I'm going to use the entire model. Uh, I'm not changing anything. I'm just going to place it on my desktop as just another, a secondary FBX file. And then what that is going to do, so now we've got two of them. So while that's being created, I'm going to load Stingray. What Stingray has is some uh, built-in templates for VR, so when you click on the templates tab, you'll see that there is a HTC Vive template. Um, you can create a project with that, but you can see here I've already created one um, with my plant model in it. Now there is a little bit of massage into doing that. I'm going to cover that today. Uh, we're just going to show that we can bring in our FBX file into Stingray, and there it is. So again, we've gone through and made a couple changes to the template and the project of Stingray, but uh, you can see there's that file. So what that is going to do is now we're going to create a deployment for it. Uh, you can see there we've got different deployments, but I'm just going to make a Windows one, so that will create uh, on my desktop a folder structure and inside that folder structure will be uh, the file. So you can see that I'm still waiting for those files to be created. Um, when that is created, this is where we're going to jump into uh, the Vive itself. So here I am with my Vive headset and you can see the model there in the background on that screen. So we're going to put that headset on and be presented with our plant model inside Stingray. So with my headset on and the two controllers, I can basically start looking around my model. So here I am looking in one direction with our VR room that we have here at uh, Kilsyth in Melbourne. Uh, it's a fairly small three by approximately two meter space so we can't really walk around too much but what we can do is using the um, controllers that come with the Vive we can teleport around so at the moment you can see I've got a controller there there's the two controllers and I'm standing in my origin that I've set up inside Stingray so now using the two controllers I can teleport onto the surface and then start walking around my plant model. Now this is a generic render. I've not touched any materials. I've not touched any colors. This is just straight out of Plant 3D and going into InfraWorks. So you can see there we can get an idea on how that operator, that valve operator looks. We can walk over to this unit here and again do the same thing. Have a look and see that we, yes we can grab that operator and then I might go off into the distance. So depending on what you've got 
in the model will depend on what Stingray is going to teleport to. So on something like a plant model, if you want to go up on the pipe rack, you'll have to either teleport yourself up to the top of the structure um, or something nearby. So you can see there I'm just sort of missing uh, some of my teleport points. But you can walk around the model like I am there. So what we're going to do now is go off into the distance and see if we can get up into this structure here. So this is a fairly complex structure here with a lot of piping and structure, and our valves, and you can see we've got our pipe supports there, and then we're going to try and jump up onto that walkway. So we're just sort of missing it. Again, this, this is just the sample one, so I don't think there's really any uh, platforms and grading on there, but you can see we can jump up step by step. So if I keep going up the steps, I can eventually get myself onto a particular level. You can see I'm just waiting for the step to be highlighted, otherwise I'm going to jump back down to the ground. So there it is there. You can see we can walk around on the first floor of this structure. Let's go up to the second story. And then up to the very top. So you can see there, there isn't anything up there for me to walk to. So I'm just going to try and teleport over to this tank and have a look at the top of that and then let's see what else we can jump onto so let's jump onto the top of these cooling towers up here so we can get a good bird's eye view of what's happening around those towers let's see if we can head over so it doesn't look like there's anything solid for me to land on over on that model on that tower, yes there is so there I am standing on there looking at that pipe work directly. You can see there we've got a valve operator vent, a high point vent with its uh, valve. And nothing nearby so let's see if we can find something else to teleport to. Let's go to the top of that tank. And there we have the relief valve on top of that tank and we can teleport over to the, other, to the top of the other tank. So for all you plant people who think that you're not going to get a good VR experience where everyone is telling you that we can do buildings and, and houses and it's very all AEC architectural, um, you don't have to. We can export from plant, bring it into InfraWorks and then bring it into Stingray and get ourselves a little bit more of a real experience. And you can see here that it's handling the terrain so we're not just limited to the plant itself but we can also see everything around that plant if we really needed to. So hopefully this has shown you that we can um, use Stingray for, for more than just homes and buildings. We can use it in the plant industry. If you need any more information have a look below, you'll see my email address there and let me know and we can have a demo on plant inside Stingray. Thank you.